Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, today's background is a little bit different. I'm actually currently in Montreal and I'm doing a whole Quebec trip this week with my family. And I purposely decided to, you know, bring my products along because we're gonna be using it. And also because look at how nice the background is. I'm currently staying in Hotel Place Darms. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know, I feel like there's probably gonna be a French accent in there somewhere um, that you're supposed to say this with. If you are new here, I do a review video every single month on all of my favorite products. And in this month, I just wanna thank Hayes Fragrance Studio for sponsoring today's video. If you guys didn't know, Hayes Fragrance Studio is a handmade candle company based in Toronto. So this is home for me. And on top of that, they use sustainably sourced natural ingredients for all their candles. I just feel like this partnership, as with all my partnerships, are super on brand but this one particularly for this video because throughout all of my monthly favorites I have reviewed so many different candles I feel like and did some unboxings and I think you guys know how much I just love candles on Instagram I also share my entire candle collection I pretty much burn a candle every single day I don't finish it but I definitely am always burning one this month I just want to share with you guys the candles that I am using. So they are in the scent Blonde Woods and Chestnut and the other one is called Sandalwood and Blue Sage. So this is one of them and this is the second one. I also have a third one but I haven't started burning that one yet but that one is called By the Fire and I particularly chose these scents because all of my other candles right now are all very florally I guess for the summer. I don't know that was kind of my vibe but since we are transitioning into fall and winter I just want that like very cozy earthy scent for my home so I've been choosing things that are just like very very earthy as you guys can see sandalwood and blue sage super earthy a lot of like wood scents this one has the blonde woods and then the other one is by the fire so it's kind of like a campfire smell it just i feel like the reason why me putting on candles at home just is such a elevation for me and just making me so much happier at home because i feel like it gives that just i don't know like this really like bougie kind of vibe and it also sets the mood and a lot of the times also i find that it makes me really productive which is why i like to have a candle running at all times I just feel like it just I don't know what it is I don't know if you guys feel like this as well but I used to only put candles on when I take a bath but now I actually put it on all throughout the day so this is why in one month I'm able to burn this much already if you guys didn't know these candles actually do last a really long time especially with a jar this big but for me because I burn one every single day practically and with my travel schedule this is like a pretty aggressive level of burning one thing I also want to mention that I thought was so unique with this brand and I absolutely love is the wick. So the wick of this candle is actually wood and you can see that it is flat. So when you light it up, I'm gonna show you because I brought it with me. Okay, so if you light it up, by the way, I have this linked in my Amazon store. I absolutely love it. But this is what it looks like and the fire is quite big so I feel like it really does get the fragrance out into your home pretty quickly. Another call out I wanted to have about the candle fragrance also is that it is there but it's not super overpowering. There are some by other brands that are very very overpowering that within a few seconds it just saturates your entire home and I know that certain people don't like that amount of concentration in the fragrance just because they find it overpowering for the everyday just like how some people are super sensitive to perfume. So for this one, this one is a really happy medium. It is not too light so you're not not smelling it, but it's also not super heavy so that you're kind of just like, oh my god, what's going on? And like, I'm getting a headache or whatever. So I just wanted to put that out there because I know that there are also different types of candle users. The other thing I wanted to say is that as you guys can see from my background, I am clearly not home. I'm actually currently traveling with my family. We're doing a whole Quebec trip. So I'm here in Montreal right now and then I'm going to go to Quebec City and then I am also going to a cabin even though I'm traveling I even brought the candles because since I haven't seen my mom in a really long time both me and my mom are obsessed with candles so we actually have been burning it at night when we come back to the hotel and I definitely wanted to use it for the cabin and this is the first time I am traveling with candles and I was actually noticing that because I'm just like wait I have never brought a candle into a hotel room before and then I realized it's because every single trip I've done is 
usually via a flight. So because of, you know, weight restrictions and stuff, I never really want to be using my weight on a candle because I already need it for shoes, clothes, etc. Because this trip I drove from Toronto, so I was able to bring as much stuff as I wanted to and that is why I was able to bring my trusty candle. Okay, so moving on to some of the other usual categories that you guys are super used to. I have jewelry, beauty, and I also have a few book recommendations this month as well. So starting with jewelry, some of my favorite Majuri products this month, I have three. I actually also had a fourth, which is their collaboration with Vitruvi. I think that's how you pronounce that brand, Vitruvi. They have a diffuser with Vitruvi and it is in gold, but I didn't get a chance to use it that much this month just because I was heavily trying to review the candle and just give you guys a very solid review on that. So I honestly haven't had time to really review the Majuri Vitruvi item. So I will be pushing it to November, but if you guys want to know how I feel about it, make sure you stay tuned for the November video. But for the three other Majuri products that I reviewed this month, the first one is the diamond bold hoops but in the large size so you guys know how much I love the bold hoops I have the solid gold version just the solid gold I have the also the pave diamond and then they came out with a much bigger hoop version this is the size of the hoop and I have been wearing this all month this month as you guys can see it is just much bigger than the original so the original is this size right here. I wore it on my third lobe just for you guys to see a comparison. And this is the big size. So this is pretty much the difference as you guys can see. The second Majuri product that I have been reviewing this month is actually another hoop charm. So this hoop charm has both a pearl and a diamond. And I actually did this in a super unique way. I feel like with the hoop charms, you usually just loop it through your current earrings. But I decided to loop my threader through my second hole, then put the hoop charm into the threader, then loop the threader into my third hole. So then as you can see, it's just randomly dangling within my threader here, but this is what it looks like. It is super dainty, super cute. For those people who really like the pearl detail and already have existing hoops, this is a really great way to kind of elevate your earrings and kind of add that extra little piece without having to purchase an entire new earring of like a pearl product or whatever you can just simply add this to an existing pair of earrings and then that way it almost looks like you have two different earrings but it's really just one so it's very economical and very practical the third item i reviewed this month from majuri is this letter pendant as you guys can see, this letter pendant is in cursive and I chose it in the letter L for my name, obviously. I just feel like I want to call this out so badly because if you guys are OG watchers of my luxury videos or even my monthly review videos, what is my complaint when it comes to the letter L? I just feel like it looks boring AF, okay? Like, and also like, you know when, I don't know, does like, does anyone get traumatized about like, you know, when you're younger and people are like, loser? Okay, anyway. I was always just like, not into getting like a regular L that looks like this. I don't know, I still obviously have it, but like, I just like, it's not preferred. So when they came out with the cursive one, I'm like, wait, this letter can look beautiful. Like, hello? Why do not more brands have this as like a pendant instead? They also have this in the ring version, which now after getting this one, I'm very much considering getting it. I think I'm gonna get both the L and the W and then wear it together for my initials. And then I can kind of go like, oh wait, actually that doesn't work. Maybe I'll wear it like this, you know, so I can go like, Anyway, this letter pendant is the one I've been reviewing this month and I absolutely love. By the way, it does not come with a chain. So, I mean, this is good or bad depending on how you want to look at it. If you already have an existing chain, this just means that you don't have to go and like spend the money on like another chain when you already have a chain. But if you don't have a chain, then obviously you do need to buy it separately. Personally, I like the more a la carte option because I feel like, you know, a lot of us already have necklaces. So instead of buying a necklace, with the markup of another chain, you can just, you know, like 
added to your current one. I like being economical and practical, you know? Okay, so anyway, those are the three Majuri products that I reviewed this month. I wanna move on to beauty. So in terms of beauty, my very first product that I wanna review, cause I like to go in the order of my skincare process or as much as I can based on the products that I am reviewing. So the first one is the Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydra Mist. This is what it looks like. And it is also a hit on Sephora, I would like to say, as it should. It is one of those toners and you guys know I love this. I love toners that are sprays just so you don't have to, I don't know, like use another cotton pad or whatever. This is just so easy. It is also a pretty gentle formula. So I feel like it's really good for people with sensitive skin. It's overall such a great toner. It is also for anti-aging. So if you guys are looking for an anti-aging toner, this one is a really good one to check out. The second item I wanna review is the First Aid Beauty 10% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This is what it looks like. A few things about this vitamin C C serum that I want to call out that I love. First of all, I love the consistency of this product. It is a little bit runny, but I think that this could bode well for a lot of you because like I said, every single person has different preferences. A lot of people are very used to very thick and tacky vitamin C serums. Some people might not like that. So if you really, really do not like that tacky feeling on your vitamin C serum, this one isn't one that is super tacky. It has a more watery consistency. So it feels more lightweight. So that's the first call out. The second call out is that this is just them as a brand, as a whole, which is why I freaking love them. But First Aid Beauty is just so good for any skin type. I just feel like even on days I have had rashes, and if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will know I literally just got rid of my rash. I had a really bad rash in a shape of a C like this. I'm not even joking you like this. Just literally last week when I came back from Toronto, you guys know that on my good skin days, I love fragrance skincare because I love the smell of it. It makes me feel bougie when I put it on and I like to smell good, you know? But when I had my rash, I really, really, really could not use a lot of the fragrance skincare. I had to turn to the most holy grail, like gentle products. And one of the brands for everything that was good and okay during my rash was the First Aid Beauty Clinic cleanser, the cream, obviously, this one was okay on my skin as well. I just feel like, oh yeah, this is exactly why they're called First Aid Beauty because they're literally here to help. They're like medics, you know? They're like trying to make sure that you're okay. So anyway, if you have very sensitive skin, I really like this. You can also check out the reviews on Sephora. It is phenomenal. People love this vitamin C serum. Another call out that I have is this is actually surprisingly very, very great to travel with. As you guys know, if you guys watch a lot of my vlogs, I actually never, never bring full size products when I travel. And that's because from how I spoke about the candle, I'm very picky about what I put in my luggage because it's real estate. Okay. I don't want to waste it on a full size product when I'm not even going to use the entire thing. So every time I travel, it's always a travel size but I do know some people like to travel with full-size products or they're too lazy to go and buy an extra container or whatever it is the only reason I am traveling with full-size products on this trip is because I told my family not to bring any skincare I'll just bring it for all of us just so they didn't have to carry a big luggage they're all here on just like such a small luggage so I told them not to bring any shampoo conditioner like any toiletries basically so that's why I brought the big bottle just so we have four people using it day in and day out so I think you know I needed to bring the big size but for this one I realized that this bottle is also amazing to travel with and here is why first of all a lot of these bottles you have to press down and twist and in that process you squeeze out a lot of product and it gets messy but for this one if you want to get rid of the pump all you have to do is twist it and it already goes down and it locks you guys heard that little click right so it locks and then that's how you pretty much minimize the product and I am obsessed with companies who really thoughtfully design their packaging, okay? I don't just like the pretty looking bottles. I like the ones that are carefully engineered that you're like, this is genius. And this is one of those products that I'm like, I appreciate you. I appreciate how you thought about this packaging because just like how when you have a door that has a handle, your instinct is to pull and not to push. So whenever I see that, I'm like, this is fucking dumb. Like, I don't know why anyone designed it like that. I'm, I'm very picky about that, which 
if you guys did watch my apartment tour, you might be able to kind of like see my thought process when I was renovating. A lot of it has to do with logic. One of them being I forced my renovator, even though he really didn't want to, change the direction of my door because it opened into the bathroom and I was like, that's a safety hazard. And if you're in there already, that means that you have to like shimmy your way over if someone else wants to come in. I don't know. I'm just someone who is super picky about that. So even when it comes to product packaging, I like thinking about these things. But anyway, sorry, I feel like I just went off on like a really big tangent. So back to the beauty products. The next product I wanna share with you guys is the Biosons Squalene and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. This is what the gel moisturizer looks like. This is probably one of my favorite morning moisturizers as of recent. In the last few months, there's only been a few moisturizer for daytime that stood out to me. A lot of the times, because you guys know I receive a lot of product, sometimes I'll open a packaging and I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna review it this month. I'll swatch it on my hand and I'm like, immediately no immediately no and I like day one didn't even make it through day one already move on to another product so this was one of those I can't remember which product that made me go immediately no but I switched it out immediately to review this one right off the bat the consistency is everything I look for in a morning moisturizer first of all it is very lightweight so for people who are layering on makeup on top of that you're not thinking oh my god I'm basically wearing a wool sweater on my face you know you're not like getting that feeling this is just super lightweight it just feels like skin not only is it lightweight it's also like not super super tacky once again targeting those people who don't like to have that like super you know like tacky feelings on their skin this one is also vegan which i love and it's just been overall like a really really great morning moisturizer super hydrating as well and really great for you to put on before your makeup for people who don't like to put on foundation or makeup i honestly just feel like you know you can use your nighttime moisturizers or lotion or creams or whatever and you don't necessarily need to opt for daytime but for the people who like me wear morning ones I do like to have a way more lightweight morning moisturizer and this one hits it out of the park in all areas the next product I want to review is the Clarins double serum and this one is the eye serum so this is actually what I put on before my eye cream so what I like about this is that the formula if you see when I pump this product out there's oh my god wow that seemed inappropriate can we replay that when i pump this product out there's oh my god wow you can see that there's two types of oh my god this is so inappropriate whatever there's like two types of consistencies there's kind of like a more creamy and then there's the orange you can see that there's like a dual thing going on i feel like if you use this you probably don't actually need a separate eye cream i still do anyway because i want to but this one has been pretty good honestly i feel like it gets rid of a lot of my double creasing in the morning the only complaint i have about this product is why is it so big for no reason literally why is it so big especially for an eye cream i expect all eye serums or eye creams to be the smallest one okay the smallest one out of all skincare like why are you almost the same size as this because like if we look at the thickness you're thicker you're shorter but like overall you're probably taking up the same amount of surface area which that is what i don't love but the product inside itself is really good but you know Clarence, if you're watching this, like no eye cream needs to be this big, okay? We need real estate in our suitcases. Sorry, last thing I'm gonna say about this eye cream is that this is a perfect example of an eye cream I would only use at home. Besides the fact that my parents and my brother are traveling with me this time, otherwise I honestly wouldn't have brought this because this is just not travel friendly for an eye product. All eye products on the market are super small. Like if you look at the Coda Lee eye cream, I love the size. If you look at the First Aid Beauty eye cream, I love the size, it's so tiny. Cause you're literally using like the tiniest little droplet when you're traveling so you don't need this anyway that's my rant next product i want to review is i don't know if i've reviewed this already because i have been using this very on and off like i never used it for a month for like 30 days straight but i would say that i've been using it this summer like for a week on a week off like 
just collectively, I have definitely been using it for way more than a month. So I don't know if I talked about this already, but if not, I'm just gonna talk about it again. This is probably one of my favorite sunscreens so far. This is the one by Laneige. This one is a really good cream. If you guys are looking for more of a concentrate, that is not it. This one's more like a cream consistency. I really like it, very easily blendable, very good under makeup. There is something that I definitely do look for in a sunscreen. A lot of the times, some of the sunscreen, Glow Recipe, for example. I love Glow Recipe, but because they just entered the sunscreen market, they sent me their very first sunscreen and it was not it because it flaked everything else. Once you put on makeup, you started seeing a lot of flaking and I was like, okay, I never reviewed it in this channel because it wasn't a favorite, but that's like one of the things I looked at. And honestly, it's not that I'm like shitting on Glow Recipe. It's because it's genuinely their first SPF product. And if you guys didn't know, SPF products are super hard to formulate. So honestly, like everyone needs to cut them some slack. It's their very first SPF product. I know it's gonna get better, but this is just something that is just so good under makeup. It doesn't flake your skin. It is just amazing. So everyone go and check this out. It is also SPF. 50, there's no white cast. So I do look for heavy SPF. And I also recently learned you need to put on two layers of sunscreen. So after you put it on one time, you're gonna put it on again. And that's how you effectively put on sunscreen during the day. Okay, so that's pretty much it for products. There are three books that I read this month. To be honest, my goal was to finish four and I actually finished 2.5. So I'm getting closer to my goal. I'm not actually that disappointed in myself because before my goal was to read a book once a month and then, then I upped it to once a week. So, you know, for me to read two and a half, I'm basically there. So the two books that I read this month are really interesting. I highly recommend. I will be adding all my favorite books to lisaway.com slash books. So if you guys ever wanna check that out, you can. But the two books that I finished this month are both by Brian West. He's a hypnotherapist and like the two books are amazing. The first book is called Many Lives, Many Masters. It basically talks about how he is treating this patient who has a lot of different phobias. For example, she has fear of being in the dark. She has fear of water, like very, very extreme phobias. He was already seeing her for eight 18 months doing traditional therapy and nothing was helping and she was not getting better. So then he decided to try hypnotherapy on her thinking that he was gonna bring her back to her childhood to discover why like all these like, you know, problems came about. But when he hypnotized her, instead of going to her childhood, she went back to all her previous lifetimes where it like caused her to have all of these traumas. So she ended up getting better pretty much overnight. And then he kind of discovers this entire world of spirituality. So before that, he was like a very straight science guy, like very logical, doesn't believe in anything he can't see or like prove. Um, but after seeing this patient, it changed everything for him. By the way, this is nonfiction, okay? So that was the first book I read by him. The second book I read by him is without spoiling it, just giving you the context, it's on the first page. He was treating two different patients now many years into hypnotherapy. He's now like a very experienced past life hypnotherapist. But anyway, so he was treating these two patients separately and then they were also doing past life regression. So he's taking them back to their past lives. Eventually he realizes that these two have lived many lifetimes together. And in the present state, they're both single. They're both miserable, not able to find love or whatever. You know, he is now with this information like, oh my God, do I tell you that you guys have been married before? And like, many times before, you know, and have been living together before. Basically, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it. It's really good. I read it in one day. I finished the book in one day. And the third book that I read is um, Atomic Habits. I'm almost done. It is so good. I really recommend it, especially if you're trying to change up your habits, but that's pretty much it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this month's favorites and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.